Hello and welcome everyone. If you're new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel and you are watching the live show Musings with Software Engineer. Vinayak, uh, how to switch from Java development to DevOps? So you have to understand what is DevOps. DevOps is more of a philosophy. Okay. DevOps is development operations. So you know what is a software development life cycle, right? A software development life cycle will have various phases of a software project of developing a software application. There will be an initiation phase. There will be a requirements gathering phase. There will be design and architecture phase. And then there will be coding phase. There will be testing phase. There will be, um, you know, again, uh, repeat that all these things to make the software better after the test. Okay, and then finally there will be implementation phase, delivery phase. Okay, so there will be so many different phases of software development life cycle. What is DevOps? DevOps is to automate whatever areas within this life cycle. Okay, so can you automate the requirement gathering phase? Can you automate? that thing can you automate the project management so with agile scrum project management can you automate the entire project management the uh, the definition of an issue and then uh, solving of the issue and uh, putting that feature into the application and then again testing it so the entire cycle of that uh, coding phase can you do do that can you automate that okay can you automate the quality assurance, can you automate testing? Can you write automatic scripts for testing? So in a DevOps project, a software development engineer or somebody who's writing software has to write test driven code. Okay, right in the beginning, the way you do your coding, you will write your test first and then you will write your code in such a manner that every time you deploy your code, your code is tested even before it goes into the testing phase. Correct. So to become a DevOps developer, to become a Java developer in a DevOps project, okay, you have to start learning what is called test driven development. Okay. Uh, some people use N unit for test driven development. Uh, some people will use TFS for uh, test driven development. There are different libraries which are available for test driven development and you will have to learn those. You will have to learn the way in which you have to do software development, way in which you have to write the code so that your code is always compliant within the entire DevOps project. Okay. That is the difference. Like for example, Facebook. Facebook releases some 100 to 200 releases every day, right from finding a particular feature to releasing that feature into the code base. Facebook does 100 to 200 releases every day. How does this happen? Every area of the uh, project, uh, the, the software development life cycle is automated. They are following a DevOps life cycle. Okay, so DevOps is a philosophy. It is a life cycle of software development where you are automating most of the things so that from the initiation of any project or initiation of a fi feature or a solving of a bug to, you know, delivering that bug into the software, into the product, because you cannot shut down Facebook for update. Okay, you cannot tell everybody, all users, okay, now we are updating the software, let's shut down. No, it has to happen automatically. There is a continuous delivery and continuous integration pipeline, which is constantly running and updating the Facebook servers for the code base, which has been tested. All the testing is happening automatically. Okay, because automation scripts have been written. Correct. So if you want to work in a DevOps project, in a DevOps life cycle, then one, you have to learn 
So there will be a particular way in which you will write code in a DevOps project. So you'll have to learn that way of writing code in a DevOps project. Then you can switch from Java development to DevOps. Is that okay? All of you who are here, please share this video with your friends. Like this video if you have not liked this video. Subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon because when you press the bell icon, you will get the notification. I am live every Thursday at 9.05 p.m. Okay.